Hi everyone, welcome back, thanks for tuning in. I'm making this video about some of the comments I've received uh, and you've asked me to kind of answer some comment, uh, answer some questions uh, about the Lenovo Legion Y700, uh, the what is the fake global ROM um, and the upgrade process for that. <clears throat> now I've found uh, some excellent art articles on XEA that really dig into uh, what the ROM is, what are the paths for upgrading because it's technically already been changed to uh, the global global version um, now it's its nickname is the fake global version but it's actually an official rom uh, with added, added languages so what i'll do i'll go over to uh, screen capture and i can kind of walk you through some of the stuff that i've been seeing uh, and we'll take it from there Okay, so this article digs into uh, what is regional ROM flashing. What it means by regional ROM flashing is uh, devices can, can these devices come into kind of three categories. Um, you have ROW, which is rest of the world. <clears throat> you have China, and then you have uh, NEC, which is the Japan version, uh, just for uh, Japan. Now, what a lot of people are getting confused is they are receiving a tablet that has actually got the Japanese NEC ROM installed on it with the added languages but they it kind of looks like the rest of the world ROM but there is a difference between them there's a difference between all three of them actually and this article really digs into what are the differences if you flash it uh, if you want to go to the rest of the world ROM, what are the problems and things that can happen when flashing. So the article says it here that there are three different markets for the Lenovo Legion 2023, um, which is China, NEC and rest of the world. Now the ROM that I've got installed is this one, is the rest of the world ROM. What a lot of people are getting is the Japanese ROM, but with the added languages. So it looks like a global ROM and it acts like a global ROM. It doesn't have a lot of the Chinese apps and things like that pre-installed. Uh, most of the menus will be in English, so it looks like a global ROM. Um, now, all of these, the China, Japanese and rest of the world, will all receive updates from Lenovo. And I read in a very tiny section on XDA that there's actually an update coming in March, so that's sort of a few weeks, a couple of weeks now, there'll be an update for uh, the rest of the world ROM. I think the China update has already happened, uh, if not happening now. It was in a tiny section, because there's so much stuff on XDA, you have to dig around for certain information, but there was a, an update coming in March, uh, for the Lenovo Legion and it will also happen on the uh, Japan version as well uh, which is actually this here the NEC uh, Lavi Tab 9Q HD1 so that's the branding <coughs> the branding name of the Japanese version so yeah the, it looks identical um, same hardware same RAM same everything it's just a different ROM um, so you have to kind of look look out for what you're going to be installing on uh, your Lenovo Legion Y700 because the method that I showed in one of my other videos, it if you try to do that method, the uh, recovery method with uh, the Lenovo Rescue tool, you could potentially brick your device. So if it's on the the uh, Japan version now and you are receiving updates i would leave it on that version because there's not that much difference between this one and the rest of the world rom there's a big difference between the china rom and the global rom um so i would leave it on that version and just let it update uh, like the same because in this article it, it talks about can you switch to the rest of the world and it's pretty much uh, prevented through region lock. Um, and then this is where they dig into from the China version 15.0761. The firmware looks for a PRC region code to secure its persistent.
partition on the device if no code is found then the PRC code is permanently written so this, when I baked mine into the global ROM using the, uh, the the method outlined in the video it's now baked itself in as a global version so it means it will update uh, from the Lenovo servers uh, and it if you are stuck I would highly recommend reading this article uh, yourself and you, it will dig into how to unlock if you really really want to uh, flash it to a global firmware uh, how to unlock it and then flash it and stuff like that so this is a wealth of information uh, the user who's done this has really done a good job which is uh, breed uh, 43214 uh, very good article there about the Lenovo Legion Y700 and the global run